Friday night lacrosse from Long Island. Week four of PL action begins with Archers, the lone undefeated team, taking on Chrome. Fresh off snapping the Whip Stinks winning streak last weekend in Baltimore. I mentioned John Galloway. He was sensational. Really, any way you slice it, you can break the game down. But John Galloway, the reason why Chrome picked up the win. Whips had more shots in the game, won the ground ball battle. Turnover game was pretty even, but Whips shot just 13% against John Galloway. Adam Gittleman was a major story in Archer's win over Water Dogs in Baltimore, but Chris Bates told us at the start of the season the plan was to alternate starting goaltenders for the first four games. So the expectation is that Drew Adams, the longtime Long Island Lizards goalie, will make his second start of the season. His only other start, he was replaced at halftime in Atlanta after he struggled in that game against Chaos midfield line it's helped along by McNeil and Will Manny will throw the brakes on and then take a shot at Galloway right around the knees and Galloway able to fight it off in the Premier Lacrosse League and specifically here tonight Justin Anderson gets free and that shot bouncing in off of Adams high in the air the rebound and will just now get their second chance on offense after scoring on their first and that time it's Galloway with the save Christian Mazzone with a good look. And after spending so much time, Ryan, on defense, a quick offensive position. But after the save, it's like, guys, we kind of need to give our defense a little bit of a breather here. Well, let's go down to the field. Paul Burmeister with more on the Archers goalies. For anybody wondering what's going on with the goalie situation for the Archers and why Drew Adams is starting in front of a healthy Adam Gittleman, who happens to be the highest rated goalie in the PLL, I talked to Chris Bates this morning, and here's the story he told me. He said first they decided after last season they were not going to be a team that played one goalie one half and the other in the second half like they have recently. So then during the preseason, they thought with the one week at Foxborough in training camp wasn't a big enough sample size to make the call. So they felt it would be best if they took the first four games, gave one goalie two starts, the other goalie the other two starts, and then made the call after that. So this was Drew's game from the start. Now the goalie that they go to on Sunday against the Whip Snakes, Chris told me that's the one they'll be committed to for the foreseeable future. Guys? All right, thanks so much. So seemingly a lot on the line for Drew Adams in this start because Gittleman has seemingly done nothing to lose the job through what he has started and Adams has only played one game it was an interesting conversation because we didn't know when Adams started game two and then didn't play the second half if that was planned but at halftime it was Drew Adams yeah. who went to Chris Bates and said listen coach I'm just not seeing the ball today yeah when a goalie with that long of a tenure says that he's like okay you, you kind of made the decision for me like I, I trust you and, and kudos to, to Drew Adams just for having the candor and honesty just to be like hey this is this is what's going on with me right now and I care about the team winning more than me and so I'm gonna be honest with you and with eight seconds of the shot clock Amen comes sprinting out and that one off of Galloway and then the outside of the net Colin Hickok off the bar and off of Adams it stayed out just a thud on the shot from Heacock. Get on him, Greg. Get on him, Greg. Greg, drop your hips, Greg. Drop your hips, Greg. As Amen now working on Wild. Amen swims back. The lefty underhand, and Galloway made the save and popped out to secure the rebound. At an arm's length, final seconds here of the quarter. McIntosh stops, shoots, save made by Adams. Almost lost the rebound, and that will do it for quarter number one. Well, the stage has been set for a battle here tonight on Long Island. A quality first quarter for both Chrome and Archers. McIntosh trying to give Chrome the lead before the buzzer. Adams comes up with a save instead. It is 3-3 through 12 minutes tonight. Nine of them, not only the nine that are here, but 20 others split between the other six teams in the PLL. Uh, the storyline here, Ryan, is an open look for... A chance for Stephen Kelly is stopped by Galloway. Is that Connor Farrell won the first? The Long Island Lizards for a couple of years. Shot from Rannigan stopped by Adams. Big rebound out near the line and out of bounds. It will go to Archers and Connors. Drew Adams has looked good here off the start. This was his third save. Yeah, it certainly looks like he's settled in. 
Went to Connor Fields. Fields. Found an open Schreiber. And a save made by Galloway. Clean look by Schreiber. Clean save for Galloway. A turnover. Gutterding snapped his stick on LeClaire. Trying to keep it for Chrome. And they send it back door. And Galloway had the answer for Will Manny. Galloway is sharp just like he was against the Whip Snakes. That big save on Schreiber. He actually came off of the pipe with his body and then threw his stick back. And here you're going to see pipe to pipe. Good job by Galloway exploding across, holding that pipe, getting big, closing the wickets. Too, right? You're, we're watching the same game, right? Like <laughs> Very calm, calm and confident. And you know, Ryan, you played professionally this game for a long time. Guys like that. They enjoy being around that. Save from Adams on Gutterding as Chrome looking to take their first lead of the game as we've crossed the halfway point of the second quarter. Grotty, a long range feed across the field. And that's a play by Anderson, but from way out and a stop from Adams. Second season for Tim Sudan as the head coach of Chrome, but his only other season. It's the Zed Williams rule, if you remember from the bubble. Yeah. Trey LeClaire, nothing on that near post from Galloway. This is a sprint for Tarafenko, and a nice play by Gutterding that let the ball roll through. Tarafenko sets it up on the back door. We'll take it back to the save. Galloway just soaks that, pushes in transition. Gutterding wisely gets that time, that well-timed check. And on the defensive rotation to an invert defense. Crotty, open look for Gutterding. He let it go. Adams looked behind him. It was underneath him. Drew Adams comes up with the last second save. Bounces one towards Galloway. And it is even at halftime between Archers and Chrome. Seven for Adams. This is the seventh, and it got him right on the inside of that left leg. But he made the save to keep it even at halftime. Let's hear from the Archers. Only multi-goal score tonight for Archers. Peacock with the setup, and Adams makes Whoa. the save, and then lost Whoa. it, and then kept it out. I'm not sure if it was Hasek or Adams who got that second one, but it did not go in. There's McIntosh diving that one off the helmet of Adams as we take a look at the left side is how that one stayed out. I think that was Hasek. I think you're right. Coming into this one. One goal, five assists last week against Water Dogs. There's Connor Fields who put Tarafenko down on a knee and then gets around him trying to sneak it. Galloway closed the legs along the post. Let's go under the helmet with Chrome goalie John, Gall or John Galloway. Good, good. Slow to get up. Meanwhile, it is Connors in transition. Couple of passes and the save made by Galloway. Gorgeous lead pass there by Hasek to create the four on three fast break. The Galloway once again Out of the box. denies the Archers offensively. 11 saves for John Galloway. Hey, who's going here? We saw Hasek stick snapped in half. Ball picked up by McIntosh and a long range shot. At the buzzer is fielded by Adams. Three games, all wins. A plus 25 goal differential. It is minus one here to start the fourth. And Schreiber turned away by Galloway. It's one for Manny, one for Ambler, one for Harris. A couple of big names I did not mention when listing the goal scores as Ambler got popped by Manley. He's going. Justin Anderson found an open gutterding. One more pass for Morrill, and that didn't go. Adam.
comes along the goal line. McMahon was there as well in the archer's net. And it is still 7-6 Kroll. How did he stop that? And did he stop that or did someone else? Left side of your screen on the progressive game flow. They both got it. Schreiber. He takes a hard hit trying to get to the net. My apologies. TJ Camizio in his Chrome debut. And Galloway able to kick out the try from Connor Fields. Mazzone hustling down for the rebound, but it's a crease violation on Fields here on Long Island. That shot from McIntosh denied. And then a scramble and a diving play by Gutterding. Well, John Galloway's made 14 saves in this game. Yeah, you heard the all-star voting was popping up, and it was <laughs> like, I got to step up my game. But look, I mean, this is a proud bunch. This is a veteran group. And you knew kind of after that slow start, it was only a matter of time before they kind of got their footing. Here's Morrill around the crease, gets topside, had a little bit of room. He was picked up by Hasek. Morrill, the bounce shot, helped away from the net by Adams. Juggled there and lost out of bounds by Palasek. And now it's Ratliff with some open field. Ratliff's feed. Galloway shut it down on the post. And then wrestled down was Will Manny. Ball will stay with Archers. All game long. Here's Holman. Contact from Galloway disrupted Holman's path. And this is Chrome Ball. Yeah, and it never hit the, the goal, so I think they're just checking whether there should be a reset. So Holman goes diving. Galloway comes out and challenges. Clearly never hits the goal. Here's the run. Off the restart. Amen. Posting up on Wild. Got free and Galloway with the answer. <laughs> Keeps it tied at seven. And just every quality look the Archers are able to generate, which has not been many in the second half. Galloway has just been all over it. Archers perfect 3-0 start on the line. As Gutterding, skip pass, Crotty, and that one stopped and by Adams. Three. High bouncing rebound overrun initially by McMahon. He's down. With the ball, rather. Here's Fields, four seconds and three. Fields looking, two, one, behind the back, did it go? For the second week in a row, Chrome defeat the undefeated. They beat Archers eight to seven on Long Island. John Galloway had 21 saves last week when they knocked off the whips. We had you with 15 tonight. What's going so well for you in the net? Defensively, we're playing really well. Uh, Connor's doing a great job. Joel and Johnny Madurski on the wings. Our short six, I think, are the best in the league. And close defense, I just love playing behind those guys. They make my job really easy. When you are feeling it, though, what exactly are you feeling to do your job that well? Uh, that unit. That unit is talking to each other. They're, they're playing together. We're having fun down there. And we're, we're physical. Those guys are physical. And they, they really do make life easy for me. Can you put into perspective back-to-back -back wins over teams that were unbeaten? Yeah, we got a chip. You know, our group has a chip on our shoulder, and we've had our share of injuries, we've had our share of adversity, and um, resiliency is the name of the name, the name of the game with this group. And uh, all credit to Coach Sudan for for keeping us together. Congratulations, enjoy. Appreciate, it. thanks, Paul. All right, guys.